Alright guys, let's check out the fiery side of everything. This is sick. Or should we check in with Baiju first? Might be better. But dude, Amethyst, you're gonna be able to hang out here. Actually, Amethyst, you probably won't like the fire side that much. It's a little bit warm for you. But Grimer, uh, I think you'll like it. Maybe, dude. Who knows? Alright, let's just um, check in with Baiju here and see if uh, any specific jobs need doing. Because I don't know, man. I don't know what I need to do. Baiju knows, though. Yo, what's what's popping, Baiju? What's what's popping? You're a penguin, so I can I can say that right now. That's, that's pretty mean. All right, what's what's going on, Baiju? Oi there, Pixel! I set up a second starter bridge for you in the house across the bridge. Choose one, and then get the other Pokemon into the habitat on that side. The habitats on the fire side are a lot less enclosed than the ones here. I might want to make them into like a peng zoo or something. Yo, there's a new starter for us on the other side of the bridge? Uh, you said starter bridge, but I'm assuming that's a starter. Um, and, oh, so the habitats on that side are, like, more open? And you want to make a fire-type side of the park into a petting zoo? Dude, I don't know if that's going to work out exactly, but a new starter. Okay, let's do it, let's do it. Um, let's look, let's look. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so sick. Alright, um, so he said in the house right across the... Is it that house? I think it is. Oh wait, but first let's check on on the uh, on the new enclosure with the Grimers and stuff. How you guys doing? Lolan Muck and Grimers, are you guys doing chill? Oh, looks pretty good. You guys haven't tried out the the swamp tub yet? I bet. I bet it's pretty nice baby in here and the little toilet thing. <laughs> Dude, this reminds me of a scene from a movie that I saw. I don't know. It's kind of a weird movie, but uh, yeah, I don't really remember. All right, let's without further ado. Let's just head right onto the other side, and I have no idea how we're going to get these ships going on the fiery side of things, but I guess we'll have to see. Alright, and maybe there's a crystal garden um, for like the fire side. I don't know if there is. Maybe it's like underneath or something? I guess that would make sense. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Alright, let's check this house out though. Oh my goodness. Guys, I am so hyped. Alright, let's check it out. So, what starters could it be? I mean, they're going to be fiery, right? But, um, maybe, like, stars that are normally water will turn into fire? I don't know, let's check it out. Whew. Alright, now time for the big reveal. Let's see what they are, and... Oh, wait a minute, these... These guys are, like, Generation 6 starters, and... There's even Froki! Froki's, like, Greninja's pre-evolution, he looks awesome! So this would be the... Evolve into the Fire Greninja, that's so cool. They all look so good! Yo, so, instead of just like taking water types and making them fire it's just a whole generation Ooh, hey chessman <laughs> but um isn't fennekin already a fire type maybe its evolutions are like pure fire types instead of fire fairy uh, nor fire psychic i think so i guess that would make sense but um you look cool though i like it i like it they all look cool dang how, how should i choose i don't know like i usually choose froki when it comes to these guys but I choose them so much, I wanna ch might want to choose something else, you know? Chespin? I kind of like Chespin. I don't really like Chestnut, though. He's a little bit he's a little bit strange. Um, I, I really like Fennekin. I really like Brakeson. I don't know about Delphox, though. Delphox is a little weird. Huh, this is hard. This is hard. Garmin, what do you think? Do you, are, are, you, are you into it? And Amethyst, actually. We can probably get you both out. Um, it's inside, so Amethyst should be too affected by the heat. But yeah, what do you guys think? Um, alright, so, am Amethyst, actually you're nodding all the time, hmm, I wonder, I, I guess, okay, I know what I'm gonna do, Fennekin, I choose you as my second starter, ooh, alright, I got Fennekin, that's awesome, should I, should I send you out Fennekin, see how you look like, ooh, Amethyst and Grimer, you guys can meet him, wait, Amethyst and Grimer, where do you guys go, what, uh, should I resend you out, alright, Amethyst, there you are, man. Don't run away like that, dude. Stay here, stay here. Alright, Amethyst, you're out. Grimer, you are out as well. And Fennekin, let's check you out. Oh, you look sick. You're way bigger than you look there. Oh, dude, you're, you're insanely big. What size are you? Dang. Um, let's see. It is an enormous Fennekin. Okay, that makes sense. Oh my goodness, you're amazing. You look awesome, dude. I love it. And what moves do you have? Do you have Ember? Oh yeah, you do. Alright, that's cool. I can appreciate that. Alright, well, um, I think that's, yeah, that's our starter chosen. We have three Pokemon now. Sweet. 
And now we should probably get these guys into their rightful enclosures, right? What do you guys want? You want pizza? Do you want pizza as well? You do. Okay, well, I'll get pizza for you guys. I'll hook you guys up. Uh, I can check the kitchen, I guess. That will work. And what's in this chest? <gasps> is this a Moltres suit? Oh, no, it's a it's a ho -ho suit. So this is my suit for this side of the zoo. Should I, should I try it on? Let's take the Articuno suit off. All right, this is for the ice side. This is for the fire side, though. Yo, that looks sick. And I can probably fly with it still, too, right? <gasps> Whoa, I, I, there's like a little jump boost, too. Whoop. Wait, let me try that out. That's, that's so cool. Is that the ability? Fire resistance as well. Can I... Does that mean I can go in lava? I don't really trust this, but... You know what? Let's try it out in that lava. Or, yeah, the trees have been burned down here. Even though the trees are made out of, like, practically fire. Okay, whatever. Let's try it. Um, does it work? Yes! Dude, we can literally... With this suit, we can literally swim... Oh, no, maybe not. We, we can kind of swim in lava, I guess. Let's, should, we, should we try the ultimate the ultimate investigation? All right, does this work? We're kind of swimming in lava. It hurts a little bit, but dude, that's sick. All right, well, we can definitely swim across there now. Oh, okay, okay, fire. Go out, go out. There's water over there, isn't there? Ooh, I got to get in the water. Okay, come on. Uh, Ooh, okay, cool. And it's good that we're on this side because we need to be here anyways. Need to be here. Oh my goodness, that jump boost scared me for a second. Dude, this is... Oh, this is a little bit crazy. We should probably, should probably take this off for a little bit. There we go. Oh, we can still have it? Dang. Okay, let's take let's take it all up. Oh my goodness, it's still there. Okay, well, it's gone now. Um, we can put the Articuno suit on. <laughs> it's a little bit less disorienting with all that jumping. Uh, but wait, this one is jumping too? Or maybe it's about to run out. I don't know, maybe it does. Huh, that's weird. Well... Anyways, regardless, let's head into the, the kitchen. The kitchen never lets me down. Jordan Gamzee, are you here? Wait, who is this? Christian Toffee? What? A random judge nobody cares about. I don't care about this dude. I care about my, my Jordan Gamzee, man. Seriously, dude? What, what do you want? I, I need pizza, man. Hi, I'll give you pizza for gold. What? For gold? Seriously, dude? Or golden coins? Okay. How am I going to get golden coins exactly? Is there a way? Uh, I can check the battle like area, the trainer spot with a... Oh, there's a Porygon here. Do I remember that? I don't think I was there before, but yeah, let's check this place out. Anyone in here? Oh, this is the old starter, so it's sick. Oh, it's Amethyst there too as well. Ah! It's only a statue of um, her though, so yeah. Oh, there's a trainer here. Can we battle this person? Maybe. Um, let's try using Fennekin against them actually. That'd be cool. Alright, Fennekin. You ready? This is your first, like, real battle. I think you're ready. Let's do it. Ho pow Um, oh, they have a Nose Pass, or a Freeze Pass. But it's still a Rock type, so this is not the best fit. Oh boy. Uh, let's just Ember for some damage, I guess. Sandstorm. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, I have a little bit of a plan. Let's go into Grimer here, and let's go for a Poison Gas. Oh, Stone Edge. Wait, has Stone Edge at this low level? Dang. Oh, Earth Power? Okay, um... Amethyst? Oh, it's glitching out all over the place, man. Power gem, we we got one shot there? Oh, no, we didn't. Whew, that would have been close. Um, Let's growl it, actually. There we go, perfect. Um, I, Grimer will get one hit, I guess. It was hurt by poison. Um, Mud slap, actually, that would be perfect. Yes, I did a lot. Uh, and Grimer fainted. Now it comes down to Fennekin. It's all down to you. Can you do it, Fennekin? I don't know, you only have to survive one hit. You did it! Yo! Fennekin, nice. And you learned how? I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright. And we got a Mithril Spear. And the person disappeared. Um, was... I, I thought we were supposed to get gold coins. But, um... Spears work, I guess. Can I... Can I exchange this for anything? Um... I don't... I don't know, man. Do, do, do you want my... Do you want my spear? Christian Toffee, it's... Pretty, it's pretty valuable, I think. Maybe. Come on, man. I know, I know you want this mithril spear like really bad. It's like more valuable than gold. You can, you can poke people with it. You can even use it as a cooking instrument. I don't care. Just do anything. Will you, will you accept it? You will. That was, that was convenient. So I guess you just traded your deal when you saw this thing because it's so cool. Let's grab those two pizza slices and I am out of here. All right, let's close off these doors. Whoop. 
There we go, perfect. And let's get the Pokemon into their enclosures. Uh, I should probably switch back into Ho-Oh gear. Oh, I fell down there, that hurt a little bit. All right, let's fly over. Woo, nice, I like this. I like this a lot. All right, guys, so, Mr. You guys like pizza, right? I think you like pizza. Yeah, you do, all right. All right, let's feed you pizza. I think, I think you'll like this. Nice, chest spin. And Froakie, and I can check out your enclosure too, it's probably gonna be sick. All right, guys, come out, come out, come on. Can you fit through the door? You can, you're so small, and I just jumped really high. All right, guys, um, Fennekin's still, you can, you can chill with Fennekin. Fennekin, you're so much bigger than them, oh my goodness. All right, let's head through here, guys. Whoop, open that, and you guys can fit right through, perfect, perfect. And, uh, whoa, this is a cool enclosure. I, I understand what he means, it's like a lot more open. And I'm taking off this armor because the jump boost is getting kind of weird. Um, but yeah, dang. Oh, what? Dude, I can magically jump boost. Oh, it's because I have the pants on. I see, I see. All right, well, oh, okay. I I'm down. I can I can have jumping powers. But yeah, guys, you can just you can just stay here quickly, I guess. Wapow and wapow. And let's check this place out. Oop. <laughs> Dude, I'm just killing it today with the jumping. So, oh, whoa. All right. So yeah, it looks like there's a little cooling off area because it's pretty fiery. I mean, definitely wouldn't help. There's a little bit of Coca-Cola and stuff in there. Nice. Or what is that? A mine cola or something? Cool. Is that is that a dead Tauros's head? Whoa. Uh, it looks like it. That's not good. Um, that's kind of spooky. I'll just stay away from that. There, there's three beds, so I guess more Pokemon could fit in here. There's even pinatas. Dude, that's sick! They look so cool! There's one that's like normal colors, one that's all spooky and Halloween-y colors. Nice, I approve. I don't know if I approve of the dead Taurus skulls though. They're a little bit spooky. And then here we have some apples and tomatoes. I guess they like red things. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. And yo, it's a gnome! Huh, that's pretty cool. Looks familiar. And, uh, ah, swing. Alright, I approve this enclosure. So I'm gonna let you guys stay here looks pretty nice and uh you know what there'll probably be some more pokemon around in here because it is pretty big not gonna lie and i'm gonna put this back on so i get to fly around but oh i just i duplicated my suit dang i, I should probably ask for a, another articuno one then but yeah all right see you guys in a bit Fennigan's doing pretty swell and i think i'll heal up my pokemon and then i'll probably be done for the day oh my goodness what a day we got a new pokemon and we got to check out the fireside. This is sick.